The passion runs deep here in Norman, Oklahoma, or as they say, sooner born and sooner bred, and when I die, I'll be sooner dead. Welcome to Oklahoma and the home of the Sooners. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Houston Cougars, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Sooners will get us underway with the opening kickoff. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. So Houston's offense will get the first swing of the game. And these guys involve everybody in the passing game and none more prominent than this big fella. The quarterback knows he's going to be under duress in this game. So who do you look for? The tight end. And there aren't many better than this guy. No, and just big bodies that you can miss a little bit high and it really doesn't matter. But over the middle of the field, closer throws. So nice to have a security blanket with a great tight end. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. On the ground, it's Jenkins. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. They're bringing heat. He's going to take off. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? It's just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. Now they're going to throw it. Makes the catch. It's Johnson. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Quarterbacks love the short passing game early in games because it really helps them get into a rhythm. So a nice job by the offensive coordinator giving his quarterback an easy throw, something he can see, and something that he knows he can complete. Smith dropping to pass. Finds his big tight end. It's a fumble. That football must be riveted to your rib cage. How can you let it go? At least they fell on it. Great job by the defense, forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back on it. The Cougars have their offense in high gear. Handoff to the single running back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the ground game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the sticks, it's Mathis. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be. And now the OC's like, 
Don't worry about it. New set of downs. Nice execution by this offense. They'll give him one to the 28-yard line. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Smith wants to throw. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. The noise level is relentless here on second down. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Great team defense on that run. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. Linemen staying in their gaps, linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. On third down, he drops to throw. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long and field. Range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man to man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. To get the incompletion now setting up for Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. The holder will Neo at the 24, a 34 yarder coming from the right hand. And this one splits the uprights. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put the boot to leather. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Sooners offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball, he knew it, and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Back to throw, it's Arnold. They'll run the screen. Great move there. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Just the ability to move the chains, keep the drive going, sort of quintessential efficiency from a Sooner quarterback. Yeah, and from a Sooner offense because, Reese, they keep the drive going, but what does that do? Most Oklahoma teams over the years, we see them go fast, and they, and they wear you down throughout a football game. So the quarterback play on those completions that move the sticks that make you play three more plays, four more plays, five more plays, and just wear you out. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, and you're seeing that here early. The Sooners want to move quickly. Using his legs, it's Ocho. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. 
All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. The Sooners look to keep this drive humming. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After picking up a couple at second and eight, the give out of the gun. And the 40, there he goes! Really putting together a threat now. They get the first, it's at the 37. There's always been a lot of flash and sizzle to the Oklahoma offense, but it's built on being tough. Yeah, and especially the great teams. The great teams that you think about in Oklahoma past, the ones that were in the national championship or in the playoff, those are teams that can run the football, be physical. It all started there. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. After the misfire now on second down. Movement here from the tight end. Got it. Behind the line, it's Anthony. But we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a room. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? They'll try to run for it. Working their way closer and closer, a third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. And the Sooners have it with a first and ten. Right back to the well. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. The Sooners are in the hurry up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. It's first and 10 from the 13. Looking for room. It's Ocha. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Into the end zone, and he's got it! Touchdown Sooners! What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Precise, relentless execution on that 13th play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Houston offense comes onto the field. To the ground with the back. Nice move to keep running. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. On the move, it's Neat. And the Cougars will keep this drive going. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but i got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree. Jesse agrees. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He'll do it himself. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. That's what's so great about these QB runs. They just chip away at the defense. And as this game goes on, these little QB runs, they're going to help keep third downs manageable for this offense. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. We reached the quarter break with Oklahoma on top. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. And they've swapped into the field and we'll get it going in the second. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. He's right on target. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. The Cougars are on the move. From the gun to give, looking for room. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem in the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Seventh play of the drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. Smith dropping to pass. Wide open downfield. He's showing it all. The juice, the jets, the moves, and he's got it down to the 16-yard line. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. Houston wants to play fast. From the red zone, looking for a space. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Man, it's so hard to play defense nowadays. you got a strike zone where you can hit people. You get flagged for targeting. You get flagged for pass interference. That was beautiful. Great job in the end zone, making it a hard window to throw into. And when he caught it, making him feel you. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. And that's how pressure on a quarterback can affect the passing game. They were able to get after him on that play. And as a result, the QB made a bad decision, forcing that football into double coverage. 
This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. He wants to throw it again. Snags it over the middle. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. And it's right down the boulevard. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they want, and now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The give to the back. Yeah. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. Looking for room. It's Ocha. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Goodness, that is the way you blow up a play quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hair on fire caused a wreck. That had to be a blown assignment. And the Sooners will try to pin them back with the punt. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. That last completion has them set up second and short. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Off play action on first down. Unleashes one deep. And it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. What a big game-changing play. I love when you see defensive players, they jump on the ball like they were the offensive guy. So aggressive, going and getting that pick, creating some big mojo for your team. Sooner offense returns to the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. 
The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, Dave, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Now on first and 10 from the 29. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. The Sooners in the hurry up. To the air, it's Arnold. He's got it down the middle. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. The Sooners will have it first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. They'll go to the air. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And that defender was just smothering the quarterback on that screen attempt. You know, the QB's taught to hold on to it to the last possible second. He had no shot trying to negotiate that defender. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. Got the quick completion. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Takes a handoff, and he's going right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively getting downhill and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Oh, he just flat dropped it. He had the ball and didn't look it all the way in, and it'll be fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reed. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. 
It's a really nice job making the play. You think about all the success they've had with Baker Mayfield and Jalen Hurts and, and Kyler Murray in recent years, but a big reason why those guys had success was they had big-time players on the perimeter getting open and making plays, too. It wasn't just all the quarterback position. They brought in some big-time recruits from high school at the receiver spot. This guy is no different. He has a chance to be the next great Sooner receiver. He finds his man. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. The Sooners will hustle to the line. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. I'll tell you what, when those little guys make those physical plays like that, it kind of jacks everybody up in the huddle, because it's usually the guy breaking ankles, but he's like breaking tackles. Now he's giving you some serious energy. The Sooners have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, oh! Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 14-6. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it out. It's Steve. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Houston offense once again. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Smith wants to throw. They're setting up the screen. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Really nice job by the defense, keeping everything in front of you in that situation and rallying to the football. And now you're rewarded with third and long. So we'll see on this next play. They do the same thing here, but if they sell out and bring the points. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Working the middle. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Yeah, when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. On the run, it's Neat. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Hey, and quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. 
Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Houston will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Bowen. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. He'll start this drive firing. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time. It's second down. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Four wide out set, three of them to the left on second and ten. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Unloads to the wide out. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. On target to the left. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Got it in the middle. It's Burks. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big, but you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Snagged in the middle, it's Burks. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays, the quarterback in his unit is executing, and this defense right now, they have no answers. And the Sooners will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. Fires to the middle. He's got an open man. They get him stopped at the two, but it will be first and goal. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. And how many first downs is that, guys? On this drive alone, this defense has got to find a way to get off the field. They're playing way too many snaps. Trying to pound it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown Sooners. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point puts him on top, 21-6. to six. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Houston offense comes onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Got him downfield. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Smith dropping to pass. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. 
Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. And just not enough field to hold that one. It's incomplete. Got to give the defense credit on that play. Taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your infield goal range. What do you do here? And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. No good. Guys, you want every little bit you can get, and they got nothing there. 15 point game. coming before halftime. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Norman so far. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. Caught over the middle, it's Roberts. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a short and heavy tackle on the tight end. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. They'll put the tight end in motion. Scanning the field, it's Arnold. Fires to the wideout. Got his man! He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Lethal weapons all over the field. That has been the standard at Oklahoma for several years. I mean, so many guys, and they, they've built this offense on space and speed, and it's the playmakers out wide. Listen, they've had great quarterbacks, but if you don't have guys outside that are going to make plays, obviously it makes it hard to move the football. These guys, they make it easy. Takes the handoff. It's Ocha. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. The Sooners want to pick up the tempo. On second down, he'll let it fly. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, he's able to make it easy after that catch, and I think his speed is something that just scares DBs to death. And you think about great Oklahoma receivers recently, guys like CeeDee Lamb, Sterling Shepard, Hollywood Brown. DBs gave them so much cushion because they were afraid they were going to get run by, and I think that's how defenses treat this guy, too. With his speed and his playmaking ability, he scares you to death, and that cushion helps him out tremendously. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative, but again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. They're getting this guy lathered up. 
Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Back to pass, it's Arnold. It's complete on the right side. They'll get it down to the eight yard line on that throw and catch and the defense is backed up against the wall. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell, he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing and then all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, create enough separation to create a positive game. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll pull it on the read. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. Splits the upright, it's good. And that will extend their lead even further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Houston going up tempo. Smith wants to throw. Got his man quickly. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Plays like that, but just a second of hesitation in the defense to make sure, and they're able to take advantage here. And they use the great timing with this call, right? Like, you can't call this play all the time, but you want to catch them when they're a little bit aggressive, not thinking about it. Nice job slipping the screen behind them, making the easy catch, and then getting downfield, picking up some extra yards. Gonna run it. It's Jenkins. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Coming after him. Gets it out quickly. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. Quarterback on the keeper. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. 
Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. They'll leave it with him. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll do it himself. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Making sure it wasn't easy to read. Nice job going to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. From the gun, the running back looking for room. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Burks. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. He'll keep it himself. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Looking for a crease. It's all Chuck. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Give to the running back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Yeah, they're just going to need more push up front. There was nowhere for that running back to go. The offensive line got moved right back into his lap, and as a result, they lose yards on that play. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's Arnold. Looking deep down the right side. It's complete! Touchdown, Oklahoma! And the beatdown has it. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good. It put one more on the lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. 
on the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Leaves it with the back. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Smith dropping to pass. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. It's so nice when you know it's third long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set in the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. Slips through the line, and the returner will be brought down. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A strike downfield. Touchdown Sooners! And the stomping has commenced. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scap, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been in down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Houston offense once again. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The completion short of the sticks, it's second down. The give to the tailback. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. They'll stop him right there, but it is enough for a Houston first down. Well, they picked up that first running the football. That's good news for an offensive line that really has been getting pushed around and bullied in this game so far. We'll see what happens moving forward. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs.
And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Houston coming to the line with a new set of downs. Just couldn't quite stay in bounds while making that grab. It's incomplete. It's a nice adjustment by the D. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Smith wants to throw. Grabs it in the middle. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes. Get those first downs. Get those big chunks. He'll come out throwing on first down. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Flushed out of the pocket. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. It's pretty obvious. This defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. They'll give it to the back. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting where he's blocking, a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Houston trying to say hello to the end zone in this red zone trip. Looking to the big tight end. Touchdown Cougars! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. You want something to be able to feel positive about after this game, and maybe that late touchdown will do it. And Reese, I'm positive that that stat counts on my stat line. Keep playing. Keep following up those stats. Ain't nothing wrong with that. PAT unit on the field. Splits the uprights. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. They'll give it on the counter. Danced his way through traffic, pick up a four to the 19. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. just feeds the running back. 
Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. And you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Off the RPO, quick throw to the right. Off he goes. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And the pummeling has started. And another passing touchdown for this Sooner quarterback. He keeps this up, and he might wind up in that 100 touchdown club with Baker Mayfield and Landry Jones. So many good guys that have had good days, but how about this day? I mean, fitting the ball all over the yard, just padding the stats, and you start mentioning guys like Jones, and you start mentioning guys like Baker Mayfield, that's Sooner pristine legacy there. Getting set for the point after. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with a flare, a 77-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Houston offense comes onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Pass on the way, and it's picked off. Touchdown Sooner. The defense puts six on the board with a big time interception return. This, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. After misfiring, it's second down. Smith dropping to pass. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers in between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. They used a chunk plate across midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. He's looking to throw it. Makes the catch and steps out of bounds, but short of the first down mark. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. As a QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. You put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. He's looking to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackled after picking up the first down. 
Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. Houston is moving it quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. It's complete to the left. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. Looking for a gap. It's Jenkins. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You gotta give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And he'll need to curl this one in from 44 yards out on the right hash. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. Well, they got three back, but that's about all you can say about it. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. Hey, it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He'll pull it on the read. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Then they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and he's shown you a little bit of everything today. Shows you why he's a really good back, and the lines paved some holes, and he's, he's right at 99 yards. And the way this game's going with the lead, he's going to get a few more touches, break that century mark, and when you do, you have a great chance of winning football games. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Let it bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. On the run, it's Ocha. Still on his feet at the 45. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. The big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. 
All right, they showed this in the first half, right? Loaded up, ran the football, had some success. What do they do in the second half? Come back now, pull some guys, go the other direction, have success. Great job by the coaching staff. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. College football, man, there's so much speed on the field now. Your safeties are smaller, they're quicker, they're faster, they're more versatile than ever. They can rush the passer. You can send them at any time. Great job by the free safety. Getting to the quarterback, getting the big sack. The Sooners will send out the punt unit. And a precision punt there will pin them deep inside their own 10-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the right. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Now on first and 10 from the 26. Smith wants to throw. Makes his connection. At the 45 on his way. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. Let's go, we got some life. We, we made a big play, something to build off of. We need a lot of points and we need them quickly. Time's running out. We're trailing big in this ball game. That last big play has them in position to threaten here, first and 10 from the 37. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're gonna show in the film room that people aren't gonna like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Trying to get to it. Just gets rid of it before the heat. That pass is incomplete and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble, it'll be third down. Well, it's been that kind of day here tonight. They just have not been able to find a rhythm and establish that throwing the football. Part of it has been wide receivers and quarterbacks not being on the same page, but you've got to give this defense credit, too. Just like that last play, they have been getting after him. They've been hitting him, and that's a big reason why they've got such a big lead here in the fourth. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it. The defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And it looks as if this one's going to carry into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Boy, they have delighted these home fans here by putting this game in a hammerlock, David. Yeah, this crowd's been jacked up. They've been excited. Now they get to breathe a little bit, Palmer. Nicely, this offense is to go out and protect them. Yeah, they've been the more physical team all game long. So let's just run the ball. Let's just ice this football game. Take the W into the locker room. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. 